I've been trying to find the perfect film camera, the perfect analog camera, at least perfect for me, and I've never been able to do it until now. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing below. We put out new videos all the time. So for me, it all started with this camera that I picked up at a flea market, or maybe it was some kind of a vintage store. It was this Bell and Howell reflex camera, but I could never get it to work. And it seemed like the pictures were always sort of foggy. So eventually I made my way out to a photo store that's nearby me in, in New Jersey. And I picked up this uh, Canon A1. Uh, they said this is pretty much the easiest camera for anyone getting into film photography or analog film to pick up. And the thing is, I realized in using this, like it's a great camera, it works well. Uh, it's a little, the lens is a little beat up, but the, the, the actual glass is totally fine. I realized when using it, I am not a manual shooter. I just don't, I don't have the patience for it. Uh, I think there might be a problem with my glasses going up against the lens and it always seems to make everything out of focus for me. I don't know if that's the case, but it seems like I'll have a, a shot that I know is in focus. And then when I get my prints back, it's out of focus. And truth be told, I grew up in an age of camcorders and camcorders were generally always in focus at least in the 90s. And later on, you know, SLRs, digital SLRs, GoPros, like all this stuff that comes out of the box and is in focus. And I guess I just am a little too lazy to put the time and effort into learning how to focus and shoot. And plus, not for nothing, film photography is pretty expensive. So to take the time, the money, the effort to learn it, I just thought it was not something that was gonna work out too well for me. Even though I was enjoying it, the results just weren't warranting the cost. And then I decided, you know what, let me just go with disposable cameras. I know they're they're set, they're ready to go. And so I started doing that, just shooting with disposable cameras, and that was great. But a lot of times you get varying results, whether you're indoors, outdoors, it's not really made for one sort of set of circumstances and you're kind of locked into whatever film is in that camera. And in the last couple of years, they've come out with these. They're basically disposable cameras, but you can put whatever film you want into them. And I've done some reviews on both of these and I think they're great cameras. I think the half frame is great. For somebody like kids or something like that, you, you get like, what is it, 72 photos out of that because it's a half frame camera. And even something like this, it's, it's really idiot proof, which is definitely something I needed. But I was still having trouble in even using the flash and indoor and it just wasn't working the way I expected it to or wanted it to or I don't know. I just wanted the camera to know what my brain was thinking, I guess. <laughs> And then I was just kind of looking online in the last couple months and I realized there was SLR cameras that were made for analog film. And I had no idea. I mean, that's, I guess that's ignorant of me, but I thought SLR and all that stuff came along when stuff started going digital. So I picked up the Canon EOS 650. And basically this allows me to put everything into autofocus half press the button, know that everything's in focus and take the shot. Now, the first roll I did was uh, Ektar 100. So I think a lot of the indoor stuff didn't really come out. It came out a little blurry because the, the film requires so much more light. But everything I shot outdoors, even with kids moving and running around, like my kids were all in focus and everything. Like it was fantastic. This is exactly what I've been looking for. I'm sorry, I get lost in its eyes. And I love this camera so much that I actually picked up a 750 as well. Now the camera I picked up originally, the 650 was tested and vetted. The other one is untested. The person doesn't know necessarily if it works or doesn't work. So that one's gonna be a trial for me. I'm gonna have to go out and test that one and see if it works and everything like that. But everything I've done with this 650 has been easy. It's been in focus for the most part, besides the one time. And it seems like the camera just gets what I want it to get, if that makes sense. Like all the shots are coming out exactly how I want it. And I'm not saying I'm a great photographer or anything like that, I'm certainly not. But at least the shots are looking the way I want them to look. And that's a huge thing for me, the ease of use, the price, this thing was like 25 bucks. And I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest, this camera I don't think looks as cool as this camera. I just, the, the design, 
isn't as cool. And this camera is like basically all metal and this camera is largely plastic. But I will forego the look of the camera for the look of the photos any day. Have you ever used the Canon 650? Please let me know what you think below. Or have you been struggling like I've been? I'm curious to see what you guys think. That's all for this week. If you like this video, beep the sh out of the like button and we'll see you next time. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually just realizing that there was a filter. It's pretty, pretty foggy. Looks like the inside of it's a little foggy. <laughs> and that might be, that might've been part of the problem. <laughs> but anyway, f that camera.